well my dear students the course is labor policy pakistan and the topic is as to how international labor standards are created international labor standards evolve from a growing international concern that action needs to be taken on a particular issue such as providing working women with maternity protection or ensuring a safe working conditions for agricultural workers dear students the development of international labor standards at ilo is a unique legislative process involving representatives of governments representatives of workers and representatives of employers from throughout the world as a first step ladies and gentlemen the governing body agrees to put an issue on the agenda of a future international labor conference the international labor officer prepares a report that analyzes the law and practice of member states with regard to the issues this is the process that is adopted at ilo my dear students then this very report which is prepared by labor officers is communicated to the member states and to workers and employers for comments and is then submitted to the international labor conference for a first discussion a second report is then prepared by the office with the draft instrument which is also sent for comments and submitted for discussion at the following session for discussion at the conference my dear students where the draft instrument is discussed amended as necessary and proposed for adoption this double discussion procedure gives conference participants sufficient time to examine the draft instrument and make comments on it this is the procedure aur sara dialogue ka procedure hai sara jo hai deliberation ka process hai aur aap dekhen ke social justice dispense karne ki koshish is process ke zariye se ki jati hai dear students a two third majority of votes is required for a standard to be adopted this is a very important point isn't it a democratic process yes indeed my dear students ilo member states are required to submit any convention or protocol adopted by the international labor conference to their competent authorities competent national authorities for the enactment of relevant legislation or other action jab international labor standard jo hai wo develop ho jata hai to jo ratifying states hain wo us standard ko apni competent authority yani legislature ke hawale usko karti hain taaki jo relevant legislation jo hai wo ki ja sake taaki country mein jo ILO ka labor standard hai jisko ratify kiya hai wo implement ho dear students an adopted convention or protocol normally comes into force 12 months after being ratified by two member states this is the span of time my dear students what is ratification ratification is a formal procedure whereby a state accepts the convention or protocol as a legally binding instrument ab 
जो रेटिफाइंग स्टेट हैं जो इंटरनेशनल लेबर स्टैंडर्ड को रेटिफाई करती हैं वो एक डेक्लरेशन जो है वो डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ आईएलओ को देती हैं कि हम इसको अपने मुल्क में इंप्लीमेंट करेंगे और अपने सोशल पार्टनर्स के साथ इन कंसल्टेशन रहेंगे और इसको डेवलप करेंगे ताकि सोशल जस्टिस विद इन अ स्टेट डिस्पेंस किया जा सके माइडर स्टूडेंट्स देर आर करंटली 190 नाइनटी कन्वेंशन एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स रेकमेंडेशन सम डेटिंग बैक एज फार एज नाइनटीन नाइनटी एंड सिक्स प्रोटोकॉल्स आर देयर इन द ट्रेजरी ऑफ आई एल ओ लेबर स्टैंडर्ड्स होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक थैंक यू वेरी मच इंडीड